from City Fire. Hello, my name is Willie Hall, Assistant Chief of the Training Division for the City of Durham Fire Department. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to watch this short video to explain the hiring process and what should be expected from each applicant as you continue on in this process. 2021 Durham Fire Department Hiring Process. Apply at DurhamNC.gov between March 1st and 31st. DurhamFD.org, DurhamNC.gov. Please remember everything in this presentation is detailed at DurhamFD.org. The hiring process page has our timeline and is updated frequently. Scheduling for testing. On April 1st, all applicants will receive an email from our City of Durham Human Resources Department with instructions on how to self-schedule written and physical testing that occurs April 12th through the 16th. If you have issues or questions, email hrconnect at durhamnc.gov before April 6th. If you enter your email address incorrectly at any step of our process, you will not receive essential notifications. Additionally, it is important to check your junk mail and spam folders throughout the hiring process. Scoring, three categories. Your written score, you must score 70 or higher in order to proceed on in the process. The physical ability test, you must finish in nine minutes and 45 seconds or less. Then you can move to the interview. It's scored by formal interview panels. Our interview panels are made up of a diverse group of personnel that will be divided between three panels. If you fail the entry-level written test or the PAT, you are out of the process. Written testing. Entry or advanced EMT applicants will take a general aptitude test. Certified or lateral applicants will take a job knowledge test based on new state standards found in Fundamentals of Firefighter Skills and Hazardous Materials Response, 4th edition, Jones and Bartlett. Remember, during testing, cell phones and smartwatches must be silenced and will remain face down on your table until you complete testing. We recommend that you leave them in your car if at all possible. Each test has a two and a half hour time limit. One point could determine whether or not you get an interview, so be careful not to rush and answer things thoroughly. Feel free to write in your test book it. Physical Ability Test, or known as the PAT test. You must complete the PAT in nine minutes and 45 seconds or less, as we've already mentioned. It is a pass-fail test, but strive for your fastest time. This could be a determining factor in the event of a tie. Additionally, you will be tested for claustrophobia. Do you qualify as a certified firefighter? You must be certified as Firefighter 1 and 2, Hazardous Materials Responder Level 1, and Emergency Medical Technician, either the basic or higher advanced level of training. And, as of July 1st, 2021, you must have been employed full-time as a sworn firefighter by a municipal or Department of Defense fire department for at least two consecutive years with no more than a three-month lapse in employment. Or, you must have graduated from a municipal fire academy or an approved community college fire program, such as the Durham Tech Community College Fire Academy, no earlier than July 1st, 2019. Please note, municipal slash government fire department academy is defined as a city, town, or Department of Defense fire department. Certified applicants should. You should take the certified written test on test day as early as possible. If we have not recognized you as certified, but you believe you are, advise us before written testing begins. The reason for this is we may need to make sure you're getting the right test prior to beginning your test. Try to book early morning sessions if possible. The reason for early sessions is if you fail your certified or lateral test, then you have the option of taking the entry level test and joining our department as an entry level firefighter. Be prepared to attend a six week academy if hired as a lateral or certified applicant. Note, our certified testing material has changed. As mentioned earlier, we are using the Firefighter Skills and Hazardous Materials Response 4th Edition, Jones and Bartlett. If you don't pass the certified applicant test, certified applicants who do not pass the written certified test may choose to take the entry test. They must notify Assistant Chief Hall or Test Proctor immediately if they would like to test as entry. These applicants will likely take the entry test the same day after taking the PAT. For this reason, certified firefighters who may want this option should not book a session for the last testing session of the day, if possible, 
and they should not book on the last day of testing. If hired, these applicants would attend a full academy. Because we hire once annually, we are prepared to hire quickly in the event we have an unexpected opening. We may check references for more applicants than we have positions. However, we make every effort not to contact current employers if requested. Please do not assume that you are assured a job offer because we check your references. Check your email often. As shown on our timeline, by Thursday, April 22nd, applicants who have been selected to interview will be notified. If you have not been contacted by April 22nd, you are not being considered for a position. If you cannot interview between May 3rd and 6th, please withdraw now. At this time, we plan for you to self-schedule your interview just as you self-schedule PAT and written testing. Did you know? Every day in the academy begins with physical training. You will be in class most days and you will take tests often. You will have routine uniform inspections. You will participate in team exercises and individual assessments. 100% attendance and participation is a requirement during academies. No vacations. We work and train in all weather. There are exceptions for medical conditions, so please talk with us on an individual basis for those. Did you know that we are EMTs? As first responders, the majority of our calls are EMS related. If you are not prepared to administer IVs, to have IVs administered to you during the academy, to respond to a car accident giving care to someone who is critically wounded, etc., this is not the career for you. This does not mean you're a bad person, it just means there's a better fit for you in your future. At least four months of the academy will focus on EMS. You will be in class daily and you must study at night to pass. You must be 100% committed to pass the class. You must pass frequent testing to remain employed. This will include state certification testing. You will have clinical rotations that may require some weekend work during the academy. If contacted to interview, we encourage you to assemble the documents below and do so now. If selected to interview, you must bring copies of the following that will not be returned. Copy of your driver's license. This is required on test day. If you bring your driver's license without a paper copy, you will unfortunately be turned away. So please ensure that you have a photocopy of your driver's license. You will need a copy of your birth certificate, a copy of high school or college transcript, or GED, HISET, TASC test report, a copy of your military discharge, or commonly known as a DD-214, if applicable, a copy of your social security card, and a copy of shot records since birth. If you receive an offer, you must pass reference checks, background investigations, drug testing, physicals, etc. If you test positive for certain drugs and you do not have a valid, unexpired prescription, you will be terminated immediately. This will be the case throughout your entire career if you work for the Durham Fire Department. The City of Durham does not pay educational incentive pay for entry-level recruits until completion of the academy. Bilingual pay is normally awarded at year end after bilingual testing. Our EMS requirements mandate that our employees get certain vaccines as outlined in Duke University Health System immunization requirements. Before you resign from current employment, do not give notice to your current employer until you receive an offer letter from Human Resources. Before you receive an offer, you must have passed reference checks, a physical, which is in-depth by NFPA standards, background investigation performed by Castle Branch, they will verify education, criminal history, DMV records, etc. And you must also have passed a drug test. Are you sure this is the career for you? We run one academy per year, so we need the right people. Once we size you for gear, uniforms, and SCBA, we have invested well over $6,000 in you. If you've got any doubts or questions, please ask them now so that we make sure we have the best fit for you and for us. DFD questions, email DFD recruiting at durhamnc.gov. Application questions, email hrconnect at durhamnc.gov. Written testing will take place in climate controlled temporary structures. Restroom accessibility will be available, but very limited. On your test day, please remember to maintain six feet of social distance during all testing process. Once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this brief video and we look forward to seeing you the week of April 12th through the 16th for your testing date. Again, good luck.
We'll see you then.